Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, members of the committee. This constitutional amendment is made to fool the citizens of the state. House Study Bill 577 is nothing more than fear-mongering, run amok, and, could, and would curtail a woman's freedoms and liberties. This constitutional amendment could deny a woman her freedom to make one of the most personal decisions. Interestingly, a recent poll showed that 77% of Americans support Roe versus Wade, the decision that was made in the Supreme Court in 1973. If you read carefully, you will discover that the Reynolds case is the state of Iowa's version of Roe. Again, as Representative Derry said, don't be fooled by the confusing and alarmist language of House Study Bill 577. The intent of this constitutional amendment and the Republican support behind it is to ban abortion. There is nothing small or insignificant about a constitutional amendment. When that constitutional amendment includes the word abortion five times, it signals a huge loss of freedom to women. If you agreed with the U.S. Supreme Court decision Roe versus Wade, you will probably agree with the Reynolds decision. The Reynolds majority decision was thoughtful and deliberative. House Study Bill 577 is an extremist reaction to that decision. Let me read from Roe versus Wade. They concluded from page 15, we therefore conclude that the right of personal privacy includes the abortion decision, but this right is not unqualified and must be considered against important state interests in regulation. Now let's, let's hear from former Chief Justice Cady, who made nearly an identical conclusion in, Reynolds, in the Reynolds majority decision on page 55. No court has held and we do not hold today that a woman's right to terminate a pregnancy is unlimited. Both decisions are well-reasoned and not influenced by political ideology. The Republican constitutional amendment that we are considering today states, and I quote, to expand abortion even to the day of birth. Republicans are fear-mongering. There is no better word for it. Both Roe and Reynolds make it clear that states have the right to regulate abortion at viability. These are, the fa these are facts that Republicans re choose to ignore with this ideological freedom-denying amendment purely to exploit fear. 77% of Americans agree with Roe. Reynolds has nearly identical conclusions. House Study Bill 77, 577 is an extremist reaction to Reynolds. Bottom line, no court has taken away the state's rights to place some regulation on abortion. No court has said that, not the U.S. Supreme Court and not the Iowa Supreme Court. The state may regulate at viability. Today, doctors agree that viability occurs at roughly 24 weeks gestation. A normal healthy pregnancy is 40 weeks long. However, pregnancy is complicated, and every woman has a unique experience. Sometimes a woman may experience a health crisis, or the pregnancy can't survive. Other times a woman may not be able to get an abortion as soon as they decide because politicians have passed laws that put abortion care out of reach. Again, these are facts that Republicans choose to ignore when drafting this freedom-denying amendment purely to exploit fear. If this constitutional amendment passes, it will be the only medical procedure that is mentioned in the Iowa Constitution. This is a terrible precedent to set. 
The Republican filed House Study Bill 577 incites fear in Iowans by stating, this Constitution shall not be construed to require the public funding of abortion. Representative Holt has said that the Reynolds decision will lead to taxpayer financed abortions, but don't be fooled. Here is a quote from the majority decision written by, again, former Chief Justice Haiti. The funds were never used to pay for abortions pursuant to federal law. The Hyde Amendment prohibits using federal funds to pay for abortions. Yes, claiming that the Reynolds decision would lead to taxpayer funded abortions is misleading and fear mongering as per the words of the majority decision. To the public and the media, don't be fooled by the deceptive language of House Study Bill 577. This constitutional amendment is simply to step a step to abolishing safe, legal abortion care in this state. This Republican constitutional amendment is based on conservative ideology. It is not based on fact. It is not based on medical science. And it is not based on the facts of the Reynolds case. It is a poke in the eye of our checks and balances. Members of the committee, we cherish and treasure our freedoms and we will fight to protect them. This amendment takes those freedoms away and I urge a no vote.